restoration. Well, today kickstarts Ohio's severe weather awareness. And with that being said, we have had 18 tornadoes so far from January up until March 16th. Now thinking back, the last record was 10 tornadoes from January to that time frame, and that was set back in 1986. So just kickstarting this year with the severe weather awareness out there, it is going to be an eventful start to our severe weather. So keep that in mind as we move forward, but the windy conditions anywhere between 15 to 25 miles per hour. They're finally calming down for the day today, but they will return unfortunately as we kickstart tomorrow morning just after sunset. So let me show you what I'm talking about here on predictor wind gusts nice and seasonal as we head through the night tonight, but it doesn't seem like anybody's going to go out there anytime soon. So when we wake up tomorrow, it seems like Mother Nature is going to ruin the party again. Throw in the mix of winds and breezy conditions. We will step into the second half of your day with a nice northwesterly transport to our winds, lining it up perfectly for those snow showers, that rain, the snowy rain mix, the grapple, whatever you want to call it, to finally arrive here in the Ohio Valley. Now we're not talking a whole lot of moisture, but there is still some presence. Not until we zoom out across the region that we can still see all the way up towards the northwest, still some moisture. Now there is a disturbance, there's a wave that's going to pass through here. We call it a trough and it's going to deepen this low pressure and switch our winds more so from the northwest. So pushing that air, cold air, further south and here it's being perfectly represented here in our upper air patterns. So here's how it looks. The air pushes down, there comes that little trough that I was talking about and it deepens that cold, dense air across our region. Now moving forward, northwesterly component to our winds right there, setting up as we head through Monday and Tuesday, then starting to get out of our region as we head into Wednesday will be the cause that we see those snowy rain mix making it all the way down to the region. Now we're going to continue to climb in terms of temperatures heading up until about Wednesday, but the lack of cloud coverage and another passing cold front will knock our temperatures down as we head in through Thursday. So a chance to get out there and enjoy some sunshine, but Will it really feel warm? It'll feel like a copy and paste day as we step into Thursday as it was today for St. Patty's Day. Now 54 degrees, that's where we managed to max out. So we were above average for our day today and that was all thanks to sunshine. The northwesterly winds didn't really help. No record set of heat or chill, but tomorrow morning we'll wake up to temperatures in the upper 20s. So a good idea to crank that thermostat tonight or maybe grab that space heater because it will, will be a chilly night into tomorrow morning. With that being said, also preheat that car. So here's how it all plays out on predictor sunshine when we wake up for your Monday morning. But then there comes the cloud coverage. That's going to continue the trend. Pockets of sunshine, pockets of snow here arriving across the region thanks to that northwesterly wind. But besides that, we're not talking a complete blizzard out there. I will keep you updated on Facebook and X if we start to see those snow squalls, but the potential is not really there. So heading through the rest of your Tuesday, it's sort of a copy and paste. The cloud coverage is present, maybe a spotty light rain out there. But besides that, we're trending dry, just dealing with the breezy conditions. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Wednesday through Thursday, we sort of go through a dry stretch before the rain returns Friday night into Saturday morning. But besides that, this weekend looks actually rather promising. Sunshine for the second half and Sunday looks absolutely beautiful.